This is a Traxxas X-Max electric RC truck. And today I'm gonna custom modify it by making Tomahawk mini axe tires. We're gonna see if I can attach these to the wheels. Let's see if we can do it. Technical difficulties. Really heaven forbid if anything were to go smoothly. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> In recent videos, I've taken saw blades, like skill saw blades, and actually attached them to RC car tires. And that actually worked out really awesome. And I was walking around the hardware store recently and I saw these axes. And I had to wait a couple of weeks for enough of them to come into stock. But I actually have enough to do two tomahawks, one per wheel, so we can have them attached to the tires like this. As the wheels go around, we should have a tomahawk chop axe <laughs> throwing RC truck. This is gonna be really cool. I just have to figure out a good way to attach these to the tires. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight axes. But let's say if I have one going right here, oh my gosh, this is gonna be diabolical. It's actually got the spokes on the hubs of the tire right there. So I should be able to clamp a tomahawk like that right there. And then we'll take a second one. Just imagine this one's still here. And we take another one and we put it right next to it going the other way like this. If we go in forward, it's gonna ax chop. And if we go in reverse, it will hammer smash. If you're new here to this channel, we've done a lots of cool stuff like this. Uh, custom RC cars, ATVs, UTVs, Ford Raptor trucks, motorcycles, cool stuff like that. We've even recently raced supercars down in Las Vegas, a Lamborghini versus a Corvette Stingray. That was so cool. If you guys haven't seen those videos, make sure to subscribe and check out all the links, take the polls and stuff like that. And welcome aboard. If you guys are new here to the channel, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. This is a custom shell. I think it actually has the shrink wrap plastic on it. And then it's been hydro dipped and spray painted to look like this fire engine red and yellow. I kind of want to do a little bit more paint to this. I think it would be cool to black out the windows so that it looked like it had more realistic windows on it. And then it's just a matter of attaching these tomahawks and axes to the wheels. I think we have a really good plan in place. I think it's going to work out. So let's get to work. Every day is a new day. Let's make it an awesome one. Why is that so satisfying to peel the tape off of things like that? I don't know why. Oh, that's not very satisfying when it's stuck there. Okay, here we are. Right? If I could do it smoothly for you, I will. We reveal the new paint job for the windshield. So satisfying, ASMR already. Uh oh, I took a little bit of that wrong tape there. That's okay. That's cool. It's gonna look like a lava truck, like it's made out of magma, molten rock or something. Doesn't that look cool? I like it. We've come to the end of the easy part. And this is the part where in the process of doing something like this, it always gets interesting where your best laid plans, uh, you see how good they are. So here's the idea. We're gonna line them up like this and I don't wanna overlap the handles like this. I think I wanna side by side them like that. That means we're gonna have to actually cut the handles off on all of these. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna attach them once I get them cut off here so that they'll fit down their flush as I've got a whole bunch of these metal clamps that I can wrap through the hub of the wheel and around the handles and tighten up in order to fix the axes to the tires. Those are my best laid plans. <sighs> this thing, I don't know. It might be more dangerous than the one with uh, saw blades, this one with hatchets. I cut the handles here so that they would fit. There is a little bit of like rotation that goes on like this, but honestly, I'm not gonna fight it because I think it'll just help the car or the RC truck actually go, but that's the idea. As it drives, it chops 
like little miniature axes. Got the first one done. I just have to do the three other tires and then we'll be ready to try it out and see what happens. Well, I got the first two wheels done and realized uh, that the banding strips that I got are way too long. These are the ones that I thought I was gonna use. I was just looking at the depth of the tire and everything and the handles. I thought for sure I was gonna need something, you know, you would think like that size. But honestly, I did another wheel now with this one that's way smaller. And amazingly enough, because the rim actually tucks up inside there, the smaller one works perfectly and there's not even hardly any slack to worry about. You can tell already this new one that I did is way more stable. There's no rotation, it's not flopping around. It's actually what I was going for, which was <laughs> hatchets that's just chop 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 all right i'm gonna swap out these other two tires and replace those with the new bands put the other one on then we'll have all four ready to go and then we'll see if it drives it's ready hey. oh it looks awesome <laughs> it looks diabolical right uh, it's time to fire it up i've got the batteries in it I don't have a working charger for these batteries. I need to go to Sky RC and get another one or get that sorted out and get some new batteries and stuff. So I don't know how long the charge is gonna last, but I wanna get the experiment going on this because I'm afraid. This thing is like, weighs twice as much because of the metal hatchet heads and the ax heads. It really weighs a lot. So I'm afraid as soon as I hit the throttle, it's just gonna blow the gears and stuff out. So I just wanna go slow on the lawn and then I have some experiments set up if it survives. I'm definitely interested to see what's gonna happen. I think that the weight of the hatchet heads is probably gonna be the it's issue <laughs> but these trucks have proven to be stronger than i expect time and time again so i think the odds are good that this is gonna work here's the rule ginger okay don't stand in front of or behind <laughs> got it or in like a certain <laughs> radius of angle stand straight to the side because if the buckles come loose or a wheel breaks, the ax heads might come flying off. That is true. You know, like a hatchet through the air. So do not stand anywhere, <laughs> but like straight off the face from the side. Okay? Sounds good. Okay, it's ready. All right, let's go for let's it. What happens? It's on. Okay. Is Hang it on. going? Wow, it's maybe it's way too heavy. The batteries might be too dead. We have some technical difficulties. For some reason, it didn't want to connect. Let me make sure here. It might be the batteries are dead. Oh, that's heavy. That <laughs> is heavy. Let's just see here. I don't think it's even going. I feel is like the there's car a technical broken? difficulty with the car right now. The batteries are erroring out. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go and sort this out and figure out the battery issue. I don't think it has to do with the weight of the ax heads right now. It's a yeah, problem I, I think the it's the truck not working. Yeah. Really, heaven forbid, if anything were to go smoothly. <laughs> it always happens. Battery or something. But you just gotta push forward. I think Carl's looking for some more batteries. Hopefully we're still in business. Oh, did you get it working? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah! I found a spare set of batteries. Nice. In there. Luckily, I didn't have to do anything that will compromise the safety of the thing. I don't have to use fake adapters to make other batteries work like I have previously this time, I don't think. We'll see if this works though. All right, I think we've got it going. Everyone, cross your fingers. Yeah, Definitely that's a good have sound. The same turning problem as the saw blade one. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that is crazy looking. Okay, those Whoa. front two totally flew off. I say we back it up, we put it on the cardboard runway and see what happens, but I think I can fix this really quick. Okay, cool. Well, are you getting it? Yeah, I think honestly my plan was just to like drive it around on the lawn and then if it survived to tighten it up a little bit because yeah. I figured it was gonna loosen everything up as I went. But <laughs> that's why I warned you to not stand in front of her right behind it. <laughs> These are holding really well they on are. these. I just gotta cinch them down a little bit. It'll be fine. So far, so good. A few little bumps along the way, but we are almost ready for test number two. I think this is gonna go really well. Right over the cardboard. We'll find out what happens. I feel like this is one of those experiments where you kind of like know what's gonna happen, but you just can't help yourself and you just really wanna see <laughs> everything just play out. Okay, we're ready to turn this car on and 
hit it for round number two, guys. <laughs> All right, we're set up. I tightened everything down. Let's just see what happens when I drive it across the cardboard. We'll compare what happens compared to this and the saw blades. Let's do it. Ready, set. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Whoa! Just, I think it may have just stopped. I may have completely lost motor power and everything. But look, it totally hatcheted it right just into the cardboard. It just crushed right through, no problem. <laughs> Chomp Whoa. all the way through, but listen. I don't even hear any battery power. You hear that? Yeah, I don't hear anything. Complete battery. It just shut power. off. Let's see. Any luck? Complete failure. Oh, complete man. motor failure. The hatchet's completely <laughs> defeated. Oh my gosh. It's completely dead. I, it's, this is not the batteries. I think it blew the motor out. Everything's oh no. Really shot. I think there's just too much weight on the tires, too much weight on the wheels. We got some action on the cardboard, but oh my gosh. I mean, it definitely worked, but I think it's just the weight of the ax heads. Right, it's too much for the motors for the Traxxas X Max. As soon as I pull the trigger, it overpowers it, and it's too much for the gears, and everything just exploded, I think, in there, but it won't even turn on. No response whatsoever. It is dead. So I think for round two, we should look at a different ax head. I know that there's some thinner sort of backpack, military style hatchets yeah. out there. Maybe we could try some light, something a little right. more lighter weight. Camping Maybe even a little smaller. Like yeah. They make aluminum uh, camping hatchets that are really yeah. thin and small and meant to go in a backpack. What if we swapped them out with those instead of these big like log splitting ones? Yeah. And then we'll go get the motor replaced and everything. We'll revisit this for round two. Totally. If you guys have any other ideas of how we could make this idea work better, so that we can finish this and take it over to the wood pile and try to drive it and see what happens, let us know down in the comments below. You guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you're gonna like these others on screen because we picked them just for you. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.